ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. So you finish the pilgrimage. Not bad. I don't know what happened out there. It's none of my business. But the inner circle approves of your initiation. Glad to hear it. You did good in this trial. Now you'll have to find someone else to show you the next stage of the journey. I appreciate the help. Good luck. Every step brings you closer to the master. Well, you really made it, didn't you? I've been hearing a lot about your progress, hearing about your trials. Your initiation has not been an easy one. But you've met the challenge and showed you can walk Revan's path. Now you may undergo the final rite. Is this where I speak to the Master? Yes, you've earned your audience. The Master will complete your lessons, and you'll be welcomed as a full member of the Order of Revan. This is a great privilege. The Master reveals himself to no one outside the Order. I promise I won't abuse your trust. You may go to the Master in his chamber. He'll be waiting for you. Listen to him, obey him. Through the Master, you will know the path of Revan. and been reborn, stand before me now. You who have reclaimed the ancient past, stand before me now. You who have demonstrated power and wisdom to my followers, look upon the master of the Order of Revan. What's this all about? I don't understand. This is the end of your initiation and the beginning of your true journey. You will walk the path of Revan forevermore. The enemies of the Order will force you to move in shadows. But we shall keep your secrets safe, as you shall keep ours. The time for subterfuge is over. Know me for who I am. All that to meet up with you? I'm hardly impressed. If I wanted you to be impressed, I would never have come to meet you. I apologize for the deception, and for not meeting you sooner. But you must know how badly the Dark Council wants me dead. The Order of Revan threatens everything the Dark Council prizes. You're awfully enamored of yourself. You've seen the power of Revan's path, do you really still doubt? Revan came to Drummond Cass after being reborn. Some believe Revan died at the hands of our Emperor. I believe otherwise. I believe Revan overthrew the Emperor and has sat secretly on the throne for three centuries. Aside from our order, only the Dark Council knows the truth. I don't like where this is leading. I have heard whispers in the Citadel. For decades, the Emperor has been in seclusion. The Dark Council no longer speaks with him. The only explanation is this. The Dark Council betrayed their leader and locked Emperor Revan away, seizing power for themselves. They seek to silence us because we know. I think I've heard enough conspiracy theories. It's difficult, I know, to think that our great Emperor suffers, but I would ask you for your help. My agents tell me that you met with a Sith named Sandor, a man who seeks to destroy the Revanites. End his threat. Go to Sandor and tell him that you met the Revanite leader. Tell him that the leader is his own master, Darth Charnas. 
And the apprentice shall destroy the master. So it must be. I obtained this Sith amulet from Charnus. Give it to Sandor. He'll believe you stole it from his master while among the Ravenites. They will turn against each other. When this is done, though, when you've spoken to Sandor, you cannot return here. Somehow, I'm not terribly disappointed. Sandor must never suspect your true allegiance. You must walk the path of Revan on your own. The path to power. The path neither Jedi nor Sith. May the Force be with you. May it make you strong. Never slave turned master. You return from having your ears filled with lies by the Revanites. I do not envy you the experience. Tell me now, did you find what we need? Did you see the face of the leader? She's a Sith Lord, dark skinned with black hair and tattoos. I know her. I know her. Yes! Tari Darkspanner. My master knows her. We will use her. The Dark Council will strip her of her power, her mind, and her life. Whatever you can do to her and her people, it isn't enough. Likely true, but I'm sure the punishment will suffice. I promised you a reward in the name of Darth Charnas, so you shall have it. You have served the Empire well. Thanks to you, we have the means to obliterate this society of heretics. The name of Revan will be spoken on Drummond Cast no more. All history is eventually devoured by darkness. You speak truly. Leave me now. It is time to put Darth Charnas' plans into action. Ready for departure.
Shall I instruct you? I sense you will go far. Not a moment too soon, apprentice. Tell me we were successful. Tell me you have the tech we need to destroy Scotia. It's time to kill Scotia. Fantastic. Magnificent. Perfect. Then the time to do the deed is now. Scotia is in his chambers as we speak. Be ready, even with the power you have over him, he will be a frightful sight. Set your nerves of cortosis. Turn your fear into hatred. Remember, Scotia stands between us and glory. Let's get to the killing. Good. Now listen closely. This is how you will kill Scotia. The relic you found under the Colossus is the key to Scotia's power over his Trandoshan bodyguards. Go to Scotia's chambers and show them the relic. The Trandoshans should stand down, or attack him or something. The confusion should be enough. This is the first step. Then I use the anti cyborg prototype to disable him, right? Exactly. With the bodyguards gone, you can get close enough to Scotia to use the prototype you stole from Grafham's. But be mindful. Scotia may be more machine than man, but he's no weakling in the Force. Killing him will still be a challenge. Challenge? <laughs> I spit on challenges. Oh, I wish I could be there to see the contortions on Scotia's malformed face when you destroy him. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm due to make an appearance at a party in the Nexus Room Cantina. Meet me there when you're done. Nothing yet. What makes this slave so bold as to enter my chambers? Tell me, slave, are you insane or do you have a death wish? If you think this is bad, you should meet my other personality. <laughs> Skisk. Kill her. No, not. I'm your master now. Henskov, I'm a Nazi. 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 Clever. Zash must have stayed up many a night to think of that one. I suppose you'll be sending my bodyguards away now, or maybe you'll order them to kill me. It should at least be entertaining. Tear him to pieces. Get the Grass Sonic. 
You shouldn't have done that. The bodyguards, they're nothing. Show. But you subverted my authority, took my slaves from me, and that makes me angry. And killing you will be over too soon. No. I think you're going to have to suffer first. this ha huh. did you zash zash you've killed me don't blame zash this is all me mindless you don't know what zash can do think think of how many years she must have spent plotting my death she will kill you, just like she's killed me. If that day comes, I'll be ready for her. When I'd heard she'd taken up with a Mandalorian, I was scandalized. Just scandalized. A Mandalorian? Does nobody value Sith blood these days? I know. I know. Don't you think so, Zash? The places Amin's Waihai's fools go and did us seek from Tauhans. I'm sorry. Will you excuse me? I need to have a quick chat with my apprentice. If you must. Now, as I was saying. Thank the Emperor you've arrived. It doesn't matter how much one drinks. These parties are just dull, 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 dull. I hope you've come to cheer me up. I have done as you wished, and killed the Darth. Brilliant. Simply brilliant. You have performed magnificently, Apprentice. None of this would have been possible without you. Lord Zash. Darth Thanaton. I'm honored. Uh, yes. I'll just let you two chat. Don't go anywhere just yet, Apprentice. This call won't take long, and I have some further instructions for you. As I said, my lord, I'm honored. But why call me? You have nerve, Zash. Nerve. But I thought you were smarter. With all respect, Darth Thanaton, I don't know what you're talking about. 
Don't play ignorant with me, Zash. Scotia's dead, and you killed him. Scotia? Dead? That's the first I've heard of it. When did this happen? Just now, Zash, and you know it. What did you expect to gain? His position? His title? You know it doesn't work that way. Where's your discretion? Discretion? I've been at this party for ages. I may have had a little much to drink, but I'm fairly certain I haven't murdered anyone. Though I have always fancied Scotia's chambers. So much more shelf space. Zash, I don't want to have this conversation by Hollow. Report to my chambers immediately. Yes, Darth Anaton. It'll be my pleasure. Are we in trouble? Give me time to talk to Thanaton, and then meet me in Darth Scotia's chambers. And don't worry, you've played your part, now it's time for me to play mine. We did it, Apprentice. Salon Sekari Kai. In Bizoze White Eyes Bila Press in Kretai. In Bize E Wanata Atragata Indais. You are my servant now. You will speak when spoken to, and not before. Waldufne Jamate Jafraj. Don't find a better bargain. Come back any time. There she is. It's Lord Zash's apprentice. Surely she knows. You wouldn't tell us if she did. Warpines Brigan Iswis Buidan. Still, it doesn't hurt to ask, does it? Colonel, let it rest. I will not let it rest. Everyone knows Lord Zash was at the party when Scotia was killed, and yet everyone knows she killed him. She somehow devised a way of being in two places at once. If I let it rest, we'll all be dead.
Don't be silly. I'm the one who killed Scotia. Now you're the one who's being silly. I wouldn't underestimate her, Colonel. She looks dangerous enough to me. What a dark lord of the Sith? She's only an apprentice, Calaveras. Please, you must tell me. How did Zash kill Darth Scotia? Lord Zash is innocent. Clearly she's not going to tell you, Colonel. Let it rest. Fine then, fine. But I'm warning you, Calaveras. Lord Zash is becoming too powerful too quickly. Since when has anyone in the history of the Sith committed a murder so brazenly, yet made it appear that she was somewhere else the entire time? It's enough to wake the Emperor, I tell you. Perfect timing, Apprentice. I just met with that insufferable Thanaton, and I have good news. Everyone's talking about how you killed Scotia. Good. Let them talk. They can't prove anything, and it'll drive them mad. And my meeting went exactly as I planned. You would have been proud of me. I went into a reprimand, but I emerged a Darth. You certainly earned it. I did more than you realize. Nevertheless, what's important is that we are finally free to act. Remember the map you found on Korriban that pointed us to the power of Tulak Horde? The first piece of that artifact, that power, is here on Drummond Kaas. This piece is in the deepest chamber of the Dark Temple. Scotia always hoarded the key to the chamber like a hut hoards his credits. Now I have Scotia's title, his chambers, his research, and his key. He always said I would enter the Dark Temple over his rusting corpse. However, I won't be the one to go into the Dark Temple. You will. It will be my pleasure. Before I went to Korriban to choose an apprentice, a furious apparition awakened in the Dark Temple, implacable in its anger, murdering all who trespassed on the innermost chamber. But I had a dream. An apprentice of low origin humbled himself, or herself as it happened, before the apparition, pacifying it. That's why you and your peers were chosen. Wait, you want me to bow to this apparition? You must go into the temple and face the apparition. And when you do, I believe that your humility will be the key. Still, I want you to know I'm not certain you're the one from my dream. I fear I may be sending you to your death. You're a Sith. Start acting like one. You're right. You retrieved the Holocron from Korriban when no one else could. If that's not proof of your destiny, I don't know what is. Tulak Horde's power awaits us both. We must not lose sight of this goal. Use this glyph to enter the innermost chamber of the Dark Temple. Humble yourself before the apparition, and bring back the piece of the artifact.